Hello Scorpio, welcome to another love reading. This one is going to be all about your person, the person that you are thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are their feelings and intentions towards you? Keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so they will not and cannot resonate with every Scorpio watching every single time. So take what resonates for you and leave the rest. So let's see what we can get for you, Scorpio. Message guidance, please, for Scorpio regarding the person they are thinking about or connecting with. What do we need to know about these persons' energy stops? Okay, that's not that doesn't belong here. <laughs> for Scorpio, what do we need to know about this person's thoughts? For Scorpio, what do we need to know? Their thoughts, feelings, energies towards Scorpio. Let's see what we got. I can never pick up this. <laughs> I can never pick up this deck. Okay. Nine of Pentacles, and Ten of Swords, Justice, Reverse, Libra Energy, Temperance, Sagittarius Energy at the bottom of the deck. So interesting. Um, I'm getting with the Nine of Pentacles, especially in this deck, that your person's not used to things not working out for them for some reason. Or they view you as someone with a lot of value that everything just seems to work out for you or you end up looking great at the end of it. Uh, justice reverse. Something's unfair to this person or they feel it's not right. And it could be because of this Ten of Swords. Something has ended, changed, but more than anything, something hurt. So when they think about you, Scorpio, they think about an ending, a difficult ending, and how unfair that is, how wrong that is, and how, I don't know, it, it typically, it's almost like they're not used to this, to things happening this way. I don't know why I'm picking this up, but tell me more about the energies here for Scorpio regarding this person. What do we need to know about this person? Wishing well, second chances, sudden realization. Okay, so maybe this is somebody that wants a second chance. True love is here as well. Can I get one more? One more for this person. Curious, interested and inquisitive. Interesting. I think this person wants harmony to resolve whatever problem this is with this Ten of Swords. I think this is their desire, their wish, and you are their person. So if I, I almost get the sense that this person failure is not an option for them. Failure is not an option. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. What do we need to know? Knight of Pentacles. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Queen of Cups, Ace of Wands. Yeah. Very clear energy. I love you. Here's an offer, an offer you can count on. Let's have a new beginning. Seven of Swords, Five of Pentacles here with the Fool. So I almost get the sense that this is because they're they're out in the cold right now. So be very careful about this offer. I feel like there's some maybe they're not telling you everything or they're on their best behavior. We'll see what else we get. Tell me about this Ten of Swords. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Why am I getting this message? Five of Wands. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. This could have been a bad fight, an argument with multiple people. Yeah, they want to um, apologize for this. Page of Cups. Extend an olive branch here. But yeah, the Tower. This was very difficult. And there's the Five of Pentacles. So this is someone that was put out in the cold because of this Ten of Swords. They're struggling now. They've had some sort of a loss, some sort of difficulty. I think they're coming in because they need a second chance. They desire a second chance. Maybe they've realized that you are the one for them. 
but I feel I don't know something something's up here because I keep focusing on this face this mask someone was wearing a mask I feel maybe they were presenting themselves as this nine of pentacles and they really weren't or they they tried to meet you at your level and it was like a farce like it wasn't real I can't stop looking at this mask. I feel it has some sort of significance. And this caused a tower. Maybe the mask fell off. Tell me about the justice card reverse. Why is justice reverse? That's not to say that they don't care about you. I feel like they do. I think they des desperately want to have a new beginning with you. But I also saw a seven of swords at the bottom of the deck. And I'm not going to ignore that. Tell me about justice reverse. Someone has to wait. Waiting for a response, waiting for a message back, waiting to hear back, waiting for the outcome here. There's a Seven of Swords that popped up. Tell me more about Justice Reverse. I feel like this person is very impatient. You don't want to have to wait. Yeah, and the longer they wait, the more worried they get. Because once again, I feel like this is someone that's not used to being in this position. Yeah, the Emperor. And there's the Five of Pentacles again. Aries energy with the Emperor. Somebody that wants to take charge of this situation. Wants to just fix things. Wants to just address the situation, the problem, whatever. But I feel like this person, it's probably not up to them. And maybe they're not used to that. Tell me more about this person's energies. Tell me more about this person's energies towards Scorpio. What do you need to know about this person's energies towards Scorpio? You are my soulmate. I'm heartbroken and I'm confused. I'm afraid at the bottom of the deck. A lot of feelings this person is, is experiencing. But I almost get the sense too, like this fear is because... Um, this is not the way they expected things to go, you know? Maybe they never expected things to completely end. Or maybe they never expected to be in the position where they are now asking for a second chance. Tell me more for Scorpio. What do we need to know about this person that Scorpio is dealing with? Mature man. Gift at the bottom of the deck. And then false person. Yeah. Yeah. So be very careful what they bring you. Exactly what I, you know, what I kind of picked up over here. Because I feel like they're giving you something. This could be somebody older than you, an older masculine energy. Can I get one more about this person? What do we need to know about this person? Concern. Yeah. I feel like this gift, this offer is because they are in this five of pentacles, despair at the bottom of the deck. They've lost something. And so I feel like their intentions are a little bit twisted. Because their intention is, yes, I want to be with my true love. But there's more than that. There's more to this story than just love. It's like they lost something else. Maybe finances. What are their true intentions, next actions going to be? True intentions, next actions towards Scorpio spirit true intentions next actions towards Scorpio the high priestess reverse page of wands ten of cups reverse seven of wands okay so challenges ahead obstacles courage this person it's like I just had this kind of similar energy with Pisces where it's like someone was willing to go to war. Oh, the Six of Cups fell out. Someone was willing to go to war. You know, they were willing to fight for what they wanted. And I kind of get the sense here. Like this is not someone that's just going to give up. But the High Priestess Reverse is like a secret revealed or something being expressed that wasn't expressed before. Why is the High Priestess reverse four of cups why is the high priestess reverse seven of pentacles yeah i feel like 
someone's probably worried about rejection or worried that the other person isn't interested um i feel like this is where the fear comes tell me about the high priestess reverse because this is yeah five of pentacles this is not a shared um this is not a victory that they can guarantee for themselves you know very scary position for them to be in i'm not sure what happened here i don't think it matters exactly what happened it's more what happened after this ten of swords whether it was something that was small but built up over time and it cost an ending or whether it was a huge tower moment doesn't matter because now the person that we're talking about here is in a position where they can't guarantee that they're going to be successful and that's not that just doesn't sit right with them tell me about the page of wands what's this page of wands about why is the page of wands here the star oh yeah they're motivated they want to heal this aquarius energy they have a wish a desire that there's you know and hope and faith that they can fix this but with the nine of wands i'm getting like trust issues on the other person's side it's like when this person comes forward scorpio maybe they're the ones coming forward to you you're not sure about them something is like you might even be picturing them as a seven of swords Tell me about the Ten of Cups reverse. Yeah, Nine of Cups. I feel like this person has a wish for a Ten of Cups and it's not happening. At least not in the near future. Not to say it will never happen. Tell me about the Ten of Cups reverse. Yeah, Justice. And the Hermit, Virgo energy, Libra energy. And again with the Page of Pentacles. I think this person is hoping that things will turn around, that they won't have to be in this position for much longer. I think that this person is, is going to be harder than they probably anticipated. And that's probably why this Seven of Wands is here. There's the Five of Pentacles reverse. Turning around this Five of Pentacles is going to take effort, continual effort. And I think this person thought it was going to be easy. Like they thought it was going to be easy to have a second chance with you, Scorpio. They thought, Mel, they'll forgive me. Or perhaps what I did wasn't such a big deal in their eyes. Or something like that. And it's almost like it's a shock to them that they have to do this much work. That they have to wait around. That they're in this Five of Pentacles position. I would never, I, you know, I'm almost getting this energy of someone that's almost like indignant that they're in this position they feel like they don't deserve it or that what they did or what happened does not constitute this kind of loss you know there's almost like there's confusion about exactly what's happened because to them this is very unfair um and scorpio you'll have to let me know in the comments if they even deserve a second chance because in their eyes they should have already had it i'm talking to a scorpio whose person feels like they deserve a second chance. They deserve at least one more chance. And they don't understand the pushback. Can I get one more energy, please, regarding this person? The sun. Can I get one more energy regarding this person? What do we need to know? About this person. Yeah, the sun and the four of wands. I feel like this is their goal and they they're gonna fight for this for happiness for stability they're gonna fight for their wish they feel like this is theirs this this should be theirs this this is what I feel they pictured their life being and for some reason something happened to mess with this to challenge this to threaten this I th I, and again, I want to be clear, Scorpio. I don't think this person doesn't care about you. I don't think that this person is being purposefully um, secretive or manipulative. I'm just not picking that up. I mean, they could be, but I don't think that's the main energy that's showing up here. It's more like, I don't want to lose you. I want a second chance. I deserve a, ch a second chance. And I am really concerned that you're serious about not giving it to me. That's the main energy I see here. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. 
and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.